Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Shanique Beckford. If you're new here or your first time or a new subscriber, welcome to this channel. And if you have been supporting me for a while, then welcome back. I truly appreciate all the support. Now, based on the title of this video, you guys can see that today I will be sharing with you a few dreams that will help you to indicate that there is witchcraft activity that is taking place in or around your life. Before I go any further into that, I just want to take the time to introduce you guys for those who don't know we have a whatsapp prayer group it's actually our church group but we have opened up the group to persons who are designed to grow in their faith maybe you're new to uh maybe you just gave your life to god you're a new babe in the spiritual maybe you are just struggling to pray struggling to seek god or just to stay connected with the presence of god we are praying in this group on a rapid we believe that god wants to stir us we believe that god wants to build capacity for more i do believe that a revival is coming and that God wants to get his children the church ready for what he is about to do so despite all the bad things that is happening in the world I do believe that God wants to also do something that is good and something that is beautiful so in this group we pray at different times throughout the week and based on each week so for this previous week just as an example this week we've been praying at 5 a.m. Monday Tuesday and Wednesday we also did a three-day fast and on Wednesday Thursday we are praying at 11 p.m. to midnight so our last prayer for this week is uh, tonight at 11 p.m. to midnight we start again next week next week we'll be praying at a different time schedule maybe it's just in the morning maybe it's just midnight another week we may just pull off an all-night prayer meeting so if you've never done an all-night prayer meeting before then this is the time where God wants to stretch you so God is stretching us for more you must come into fellowship prayer and intimacy with him so if you're looking for this people are being delivered Delivered. people are vomiting up stuff people are being healed God is opening doors sending financial miracles that's what we want to see God do it in this season we want to spread positivity we want to spread the goodness that God is actually doing other than all the nonsense that's going on where church is concerned and the world is concerned we want to be basking in the fullness and in the glory of God so if you want to be a part of this whatsapp group feel free to go ahead and reach out to us all right the information will be in the description box now without any further ado we're definitely going to go ahead and jump straight into this video No, a few dreams that indicate that witchcraft is happening in or around your life or that someone is working spiritual witchcraft against you. No, I want you to understand that the heights of wickedness in this world is unmatched. There are some people that maybe you know them, maybe you don't, maybe they're family, friends, co-workers. There are some people that will go the extra mile to take you down, to destroy you, to limit you, to block you for whatever reason. It could be jealousy, it could be bad mind, it could just be intimidation and it could be fear of how far you will go there people that will go the extra mile to hurt you or to break you and most times when these things are happening if the Holy Spirit does not cause you to become aware that you will discern what is happening he often goes ahead and reveal this thing through us through dreams now I'm going to share with you but before I do that I want to give you a few quick scriptures in Daniel 2 and verse 28 this is what the Bible says but there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries and he has has made known to the king Nebuchadnezzar what will be in the latter days so the Holy Spirit had revealed to Nebuchadnezzar what it is that was happening around him in his life and in the nation that he was leading through dreams through mysteries so a lot of times some of you have dreams and visions you may not understand what it means and it's possible that it could be indicating that there is destruction the enemy is trying to take you out or it could also mean that God also wants to bless you or take you higher so we have to understand that
that dream is a way that the Holy Spirit, our vision is a way that the Holy Spirit discerns or gives us um, information on what is happening around our lives. This is nothing to be afraid of. The Bible says, while men slept, the evil one came and saw tears among the wheat. This is nothing for you to be afraid of. In Proverbs 3 verse 24, it says, when thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, that shall, thou shalt lie down and they shall sleep. You shall sleep and your sweet shall be sweet. So even though I'm going to be sharing these things with you, once you're covered under the blood of Jesus, once you're in the grace and the secret place of God no witchcraft no powers of darkness no evil powers no black magic can be able to destroy you because when it sees the blood it will have to pass over so let's jump into the dream shall we all right number one if you have dreams if you have dreams about dogs chasing you especially black dogs or black cats chasing you staring at you or being in your dream any at all this is an indicator that you are encountering or someone is is attempting to work spiritual witchcraft against you seeing black animals in your dream it I, it indicates ancestral spirits it indicates dark spirits or ancestral spirits that wants to fight against your purpose your destiny what it is that you're trying to achieve and to accomplish so do not ignore your dreams when you see black cats black dogs number two when you have dreams of black spiders or black cats or any animal at all or anyone actually chasing you whether they're an animal or whether they're an actual person that is chasing you in your dream you can't find your way they're chasing you you're getting tired this is the spirit of witchcraft that is trying to destroy your purpose trying to scatter your opportunities trying to wear you out and cause you to become tired if you wake up from these dreams and you actually do not pray to destroy or to break it you may find that you are getting easy you're get you're easily tired you're easily fatigued easily feel like you want to give up your opportunities are just not coming to a closure where anything is being finalized it's almost like you're all over the place and you're not being settled or accomplishing anything that you actually want to do so you have to break these dreams when you get them you'll be aiming roamlessly when they chase you in your dreams when you wake up you begin to roam life aimless aimlessly as though you're not achieving or getting anything done a next uh, dream that indicates spiritual witchcraft is uh, dreaming of losing clothes so if you dream that you're losing your clothes or someone is borrowing or someone is taking your clothes this is a clear indicator of spiritual witchcraft happening in your life people will take demonic spirits or witchcraft will often try to get um, anything that you own especially clothes under garments or shoes and they will use this as a point of contact to send forth their fiery darts to send forth their deposits to send for their 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 attack launch their attack that they actually want to launch at you so you have to pray that any witchcraft spirit that takes your garment in your dream that wants to stop your livelihood to block your livelihood or to um to actually launch a sickness at you also spirit of madness upon you that it will die by the fire of the holy spirit another one is eating in your dreams when you have dreams that you're eating in your dreams, you have no idea who is giving you food. Sometimes you may not even know what kind of food you're eating. You just know that you're actually eating in the dream and sometimes it may feel good. Maybe you're at a resort. Maybe someone you know actually gave it to you. And this is how the spirit of witchcraft actually operates. It will take the form of someone that you may know, maybe a family member, especially if that person is deceased. This is serious stuff. So it will take on the appearance of someone you know and then it becomes a familiar spirit that way it can trap it can entrust and then it will trap you into eating and deceiving you by by eating in your sleep it scatters your opportunities it scatters your purpose so you are lost you become sick it's a deposit also that causes sickness within your body so after eating this you may find that you start to have uh, sicknesses uncommon sicknesses frequent sicknesses sicknesses that the doctors can't even explain and so you have to be careful of these dreams another one is dreaming that you are dream that you're being in chains someone is putting chains on you 
if you dream that someone is chaining you or putting a rope or a cord or tying your feet or your hand or around your neck anywhere at all around your body this is the spirit of witchcraft that wants to cause you to be stagnant to be immobile unfruitful the spirit of witchcraft wants you to be unfruitful unprogressive to tie you in one place that way you will become stagnant and you will not move to be enslaved to demonic spirits and not be able to achieve anything in life so you have to pray against chains and when I say that another dream that actually indicates spiritual witchcraft is being in a place of confinement so if you dream that you're in a box or you're in a prison cell or behind any form of bars this is the spirit of witchcraft that wants to limit you that wants to put you in a box that way you will never come out you will never be productive you'll never achieve anything you'll be stuck in one place so it doesn't matter how hard you work how hard you press to accomplish something or to do something good or achieve something good it will always feel as though you're not going for it you're not moving for it you're stuck it's a spirit of witchcraft that is fighting against you if you have dreams about being shot so if you have dreams that someone is chasing you and they're shooting um they're shooting at you or they shoot you this is serious witchcraft you have to pray you have to pray for deliverance you have to pray and break altars and witchcraft spirits that are fighting against you so that moment you get shot in your dream that is the moment where, where they deposit demonic seeds they deposit demonic seeds that they will use to cause or in, inflict a sickness upon you or it can it could become a thing of uh, it could become a monitoring thing that they have deposited within you so they're always able to track you to know what you're doing and by knowing what what you're doing they're better able to fight against you or to hold you down that you that way you will not be progressive in life if you have dreams of incision or being cut blood and especially if there is blood that is serious spiritual witchcraft so if you have dreams that you're cutting yourself or someone you know is cutting you or maybe it's a surgery and they cut you and blood begins to come especially when blood begins to come this symbolizes spiritual witchcraft it symbolizes blood sacrifice and when we talk about blood sacrifice in your dreams this is a high level witchcraft this is definitely high level witchcraft you have to pray seriously that the, that spiritual wickedness and witchcraft does not sacrifice Sacrifice does not try to uh, sacrifice you by using your blood to launch death at you, to launch sickness at you. That, that way they will try to destroy you. So do not ignore blood in your dream. Do not ignore being shot or being cut in your dream. If you dream that someone is taking your money or robbing you of your money, trying to deceive you to take your money away. This is spiritual witchcraft that wants to steal your finances, that wants to steal your livelihood, that wants to steal your hard work and labor. So that way you will work and you'll never see what you're working for. You will labor, put in all the effort and all the work and you will never see what it is that you're spending all the hours at work working for. All your money will go into sickness, all your money will go into paying bills, all your money will go into fixing the car and different random things will just be to pop up in your life and you can't see the true fruits or benefits of your actual labor so if you dream that you are also by the riverside or you dream that you're leaving your clothes or anything by the riverside this is spiritual witchcraft there are certain demonic spirits that go by the river, that plant stuff by the river, that pray to river gods, that um, sacrifice at the river, that gives um, sacrificial offerings by the river, whether it is blood, whether it is food. There are many different things that witchcraft people go to the river to do, to feed or to give to spirit gods, to marine gods, aquatic river gods. And this is a way in which they actually work spiritual witchcraft. So if you, if you dream that you're losing your clothes you're losing your shoes especially leaving them by the riverside or going to the riverside you have to pray against spiritual witchcraft the Bible actually says in 2 Timothy 4 and 18, the Lord will rescue you from every evil attack and he will bring and will bring me safety to the, his heavenly kingdom. So the Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. So it doesn't matter what the dreams may happen. Do not be afraid of these dreams. You have to rise up in authority. Put on the whole armor of God that you will be able to stand against the wise of the enemy. So that 
way nothing that the devil tries or does will be able to work against you the bible says the weapon may form but they will not be able to prosper so you can overcome this in jesus mighty name if you dream about cows if you dream about cows or frogs, this is indicating that witchcraft activity is happening in or around your life. These two are so very important. If you dream about losing your teeth or losing your hair, this indicates witchcraft activity. So when you dream about losing your hair, your hair is falling out or you're combing your hair and it just keeps coming out in your hand or your teeth is falling out just randomly or your teeth begins to shake and falls out in the dream or maybe you were eating something and the teeth fell out. It is a sign that witchcraft activity is happening. What this is trying to do is what the witchcraft forces are trying to do is that you will lose your glory. You will lose favor. They're trying to break favor from you they're trying to destroy your character and your integrity so whatever integrity you have whatever character um, you have that represents God that is pure and true someone will try to mess with your character to mess with your name to mess with your integrity and who you are to defame you and so that way when they do that you'll not be able to get opportunities because they're trying to take away your glory they're trying to take away that thing that makes you you that makes you favorable but who God blesses no man can curse and so when you have dreams that your teeth is falling out hair is falling out you have to pray seriously that the spirit of which craft will not destroy favor from your life will not strip away your glory will not strip away your fruitfulness in jesus mighty name if you dream about eggs maybe you're cooking eggs maybe you're carrying eggs if you dream about eggs in 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 your dream or you dream that you have an egg and it breaks this is a serious sign of spiritual witchcraft I have done several deliverance cases and I've heard several persons that have actually spoken about how they have gone to witchcraft doctors and by doing this they actually use egg and they um, like evoke spirits that will actually go into the egg and once they go into the egg they use the egg to seal it or whatever or I've seen where I've heard rather um, my spiritual father and other persons have shared testimonies of people who have gone through spiritual witchcraft where witchcraft persons or whoever is working the witchcraft against the said person has left like an egg at the door and if you get up and you go outside and you step over the egg without even realizing it could cause your feet to swell up or something like that and so there are many different things that people actually use egg to do in witchcraft so you cannot ignore those egg dreams you have to pray seriously in jesus mighty name if you dream about signing papers or signing documents, you have to pray in the name of Jesus that the spirit of witchcraft will not cause you to sign away your life, to sign away your health, to sign away your peace, your joy, your marriage, your children. A lot of times you sign things in your dream and you wake up and you begin to lose many things. You begin to go through a season or a cycle of loss because you are signing over everything that you have to witchcraft powers and to evil doctors, evil sources, evil powers. So you have to be careful that you do not sign anything in your dream. Another one is if you dream about darkness. So in your dream, you're dreaming about darkness. You're dreaming about darkness and you can't see anything. It's a spirit, it's a dark spirit that wants to confuse you or that wants to trap you or cause you to become lost in life, to bring blindness and confusion. So that way things will begin to happen in your life. You will not be able to figure it out, to, to think or strategize to be able to come through this issue or whatever it is you're going through. You're blind, physically blind, um, spiritually. You're going through warfare and you're not really able to perceive that you're actually going through a war fear so if you dream about darkness or being trapped in a place of darkness you can't see anything you can't find your way out it's a spirit of witchcraft that wants to confuse to blind your purpose and your vision another one and i think a lot of persons have been having this um that have been reaching out to me is dreaming that you're actually flying if you dream that you're flying this indicates higher levels of witch activities so if there are witches in the region or witches or witchcraft um persons who are fighting against you they can take a hold of you and carry you into high places so if you dream about flying in high places but you know that you cannot fly this indicates spiritual witchcraft and you have to pray to break the powers of witchcraft that are working against you if you also dream about falling down 
So if you dream about, if you dream that you're walking and you fall down, or you dream about coffin, or you dream about trees falling down or chopping, tr or chopping down trees, then this is the spirit of witchcraft that is working against you. I know some persons may say, oh, I was just walking and I fell and I got up, or I was just walking and a tree fell or whatever it is. You cannot ignore these dreams. When spiritual wickedness or witchcraft begins to work against you and you see trees falling or you're the one that is falling, this simply uh, symbolizes that witchcraft powers are trying to cause you to fall from grace, to fall from your position. So if you hold a certain position in life or status in life, witchcraft powers wants you to fall on your face, to fall from your place of promotion, to fall from your place of favor, to fall from a place of success to a place where you become low. The Bible says you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. And when you dream of falling, this is a demonic spirit that wants to pull you down from a place that you have worked hard to achieve or that God has blessed you. They want you to fall on your face where you are um, put to shame or in disgrace or embarrassed. So you have to pray about this seriously. Also, if you dream about nakedness, if you dream about being naked or walking barefoot, this is witchcraft powers that is trying to disgrace you, that is trying to embarrass you, that is trying to strip you of everything that you have. So nakedness in the dream symbolizes embarrassment, it symbolizes disgrace, it symbolizes um, the witchcraft powers emptying everything that you have. So it's, it's like you're losing everything that you have to the point where you become naked. And if you dream that you're walking barefoot also, it symbolizes disgrace and embarrassment. So someone will disgrace you, someone will embarrass you, maybe you will lose your home, maybe they'll fire you from work, something terrible will happen. You have to pray and break this in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, so I'll give you two more. I think I have one more, but I'll give you about two more. If you have dreams or visions that you are visiting your old school or your old home, so maybe you grew up in a house somewhere in the country or um, somewhere that you have left for many years, you haven't gone back there or you don't live there anymore. If you have dreams, you're going back to your old school or your old home. This is an ancestral spirit or a dark evil spirit of witchcraft that wants you to go backwards. So you're trying to progress to advance and to move forward in life but the spirit of witchcraft the ancestral spirits of your father's house wants to pull you backwards so every time you try to accomplish or do something it seems like you're going forward you take two steps forward and it seems like you've actually taken 10 steps backward you're doing the best you can but nothing is working out everything is failing and falling apart they want you to go backwards in life and never forward so you have to break this in the name of Jesus I'll give you one more as bonus and I think that's about 20 about 20 that I have shared with you if you dream about a glass or a mirror breaking especially a mirror if you dream about a glass or a mirror breaking it symbolize it can symbolize death it could symbolize a witchcraft spirit or evil spirit that wants to break your marriage to break your purpose to break your destiny to break whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish and so everything around your life will be shattered your opportunities will be shattered to pieces doors your destiny helpers will be shattered and shattered to pieces everything will be scattered all over the place you can't put your life together this is what the spirit of witchcraft does when they break a glass or especially a mirror in your dream and you have to pray seriously to break this no in order to break spiritual witchcraft that you have perceived or seen in your dreams or visions as soon as you wake from this dream you must anoint yourself whether you have olive oil or water or you're going to put your your hands on yourself and you're going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I break every spiritual witchcraft every spiritual wickedness that wants to fight against me my family my purpose or my ministry we shatter the demonic altars we burn them by fire we declare that they will be destroyed to irreparable pieces we release the fire and the spirit of God upon every witchcraft altars that is working against my life and my progress in Jesus mighty name the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, rulers of darkness and wickedness in high places. So we pull them down that are working against you in the name of Jesus. We call for Michael, we call for the angels of God that will begin to fight with you, to war against every spirit, to pursue every demonic spirit that has been pursuing you in the mighty name of Jesus. So I wanted to share these with you. Get all the scriptures you can that will help you to wage warfare. Psalm 
91 get all the scriptures that you can find and begin to use them over your house over your children over your ministry and your life and you will see the hand of God preserve you and keep you in Jesus name I do hope that this video was a blessing or an eye opener to you at least if it has, I want you to free, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like this video. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if you know someone that's been having these crazy dreams on and off or frequently, I want you to go ahead and share this channel. Share this video with someone. Let it be a blessing to someone else. And help us to continue to grow and be a blessing to as many more persons as we can. I'm Shanique Beckford. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.